Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. We are heading into Dollar Tree today to grab some shower curtains. <laughs> yes, we are. I also want to thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. All right, here's shower curtains. They have clear. They have some prints, which this one is really, really pretty. Baby. And this one is white. Yes. So they have lots of options too. <laughs> and I just found gray and blue too. And you can hack these too. So maybe this is an upcoming video. The shower curtain rings. So yes, let me know down in the comments below if you'd want to see that shower curtain ring hacks video for an upcoming tutorial. Today, we're going to focus on these shower curtains. I have some really great practical and fun ideas I want to show you in this video. And we're going to start with a clear liner first, in addition to our Super Unix, which is by the original Super Glue. This is an amazing Super Glue that gives you 10 seconds to move around your project before it actually sets up. And it works with all materials. So it's going to be perfect for our our shower curtain liner. I want to show you our first project featuring the Super Unix and a tote bag. So this is a Dollar Tree canvas tote bag, but you can use this idea for any type of tote bag you might already have. What I'm doing here is just measuring it first, kind of doing it a little bit smaller than the actual size of it because we're going to be making a liner to go inside of our tote bag. So you can see here I am laying out my shower curtain. You can see it at the top. That is the top of the shower curtain, which has a nice finished edge on it and I'm just doubling it up and measure, measuring over so that I have the width I need and then I'm also going to measure up so that I have the height that I need. Now another good tip here is to use a really sharp pair of scissors. I didn't realize that it actually is kind of tough to cut through this material. It's kind of thin but it still takes some pretty sharp scissors so I ended up grabbing out my uh, fabric trimmer and mat so I could get a nice clean edge before we come back in with our super unix to bond this together. So you can see I have it laid out and it's just one sheet and then I'm applying my super unix to the first edge onto the side, not getting too close to the edge, but pretty much right up against that edge on the side and the bottom. I kind of did two rows of this to make sure I get really good coverage. Make sure you put your cat back on your super unix before you set it down and then fold over your shower liner. I also grabbed a piece of computer paper and this is what I'm using to smush down. Yes, that's a technical term. <laughs> the sides of this because I don't want it to get on my fingers. I also have my countertop protected with some paper and then just hang it to dry. I let mine sit for a couple hours. Then once it was completely dry, I was able to slip this inside of my canvas tote bag and now it is waterproof. So you can throw things in there like swimsuits or wet towels, kids things that you don't want to uh, leak or ruin your tote bags. The great thing about this too is that shower curtains are so large that you can actually make several of these and make them custom size so they fit whatever size tote bag that you have. I'll also make sure to put a link in the description box to more information on Super Unix. You guys know this is one of those products that is always in my craft stash because it always comes in handy because it works on pretty much everything. Up next, we're going to use that really pretty shower curtain that I showed you before. I love the colors in this. Really bright and also really decorative too. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a canvas from Dollar Tree. It is the larger 11 by 14 size. And I just kind of laid out the shower curtain until I found a spot that was really pretty that I liked. And this was a great spot because all three of those colors kind of meshed together. And I just cut out the shower curtain with some scissors uh, larger than the actual size of the canvas. I flipped those upside down. That way I could hot glue the shower curtain onto the canvas on the back side. Then once I had all the edges glued down, I trimmed off the excess and made sure my corners were nice and secured too. And it was just that simple to create a nice little piece of inexpensive artwork. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is definitely something I've done for a long time. I use Dollar Tree shower curtains as a drop cloth when it comes to spray painting. And here's another pro tip. I actually use these wash basin tubs from Dollar Tree as a riser so that way when I set things down they don't smash down into the grass and it sets them up so that you can spray paint nicely. So that was another idea and here's another one you can use for outside too. So again I'm just laying this down on the grass and we're gonna throw a blanket on top of here. That way your blanket does not get wet. So if you have grass that maybe is wet from morning dew or from a little bit of rain, this will protect your blanket. And my blanket was a little bit large, so I touched those edges up underneath it, added a few throw pillows and made a little nice picnic spot. So now I noticed this with the clear shower curtains. It's not the same with the printed ones, but the clear ones have magnets at the bottom. So if you're ever in a pinch for magnets or your Dollar Tree runs out, head over to the shower curtains and grab one of these and you can make your own magnets depending on whatever project you need them for. I have these really cute cactus uh, stickers, 3D stickers from Dollar Tree. So I decided to make them into cute little magnets. These stickers already had some foam dots on the back of them. So all I had to do is literally peel them off the backing and then stick one of the magnets right onto there and use them. So, so, so quick and easy, kind of a fun project, but also one of those, maybe you didn't know kind of things, or if you're in a pinch, there's a great tip for you. Now, this is another great tip. So I'm sure you could use regular tablecloths whenever you are needing pr to protect a surface. But if you notice, these shower curtains are a little bit more thick than the like cheapy plastic tablecloths that Dollar Tree carries. So if you're gonna be doing things like tie dyeing or messy art projects with kiddos, grab a shower curtain instead because it will protect your surface a little bit better than those tablecloths. And now speaking of tablecloths, pretend with me for a second, this is a Dollar Tree tablecloth, but pretend it's a beautiful fabric tablecloth that you love and you don't want to get anything on. You can lay that down and then actually take a clear shower curtain and throw it over the top of it. What I love about this is you honestly really can't even tell other than a little bit of shininess on top that there's even that second layer on there. So you get that level of protection, but still the classy, beautiful look of your tablecloth without ruining it. This next one, my son is absolutely having a ball with. This is a fun hack I wanted to share with you. It is a eight by 10 picture frame, or you can even do a little bit bigger size than that too. You wanna remove the glass and the inside of the frame along with those metal pieces that kind of hold everything in. And we're gonna need a clear plastic tablecloth for this one. I'm cutting the tablecloth a little bit larger than the size of the frame and taking some hot glue and running it around the back inside edge of that frame and laying in that tablecloth. Now I did end up grabbing a uh, thin, paintbrush you could also use a dowel rod to kind of help me smush that in there and i also used some hot glue to kind of add some extra glue around the back edges of the frame too so i did the top and then the bottom and then the side and then the other side to make sure i pulled everything nice and tight and evenly and then trimmed everything down so that i had no extra around the edges again with a super sharp pair of scissors and then basically we have a nice see-through dry erase frame for kiddos to use. This would be good too for adults if you're practicing hand lettering or something like that too. And then once the ink is dry, you can just erase that right off of there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I'll have even more fun hacks video popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.